Hello everyone and today we are going to solve a very beautiful question based on fuel injection and this is going to be one of the best questions that I have ever solved and this question is UPSC civil service it's question number 7c 2021 and paper number 2 so let us start and first I will write the given data over here a six cylinder four stroke diesel engine so number of cylinder k is six four stroke that is small n is equal to n by 2 rpm will be half while calculating the brake power only okay so sorry a torque whenever it is required then and only okay otherwise uh, we will take 1500 okay 1500 750 rpm and brake power is given here i am writing brake power as a bp as a 250 kilowatt sorry Mm -hmm. 250 kilowatt now it is given that the brake specific fuel consumption bsfc that is 0.3 kg per kilowatt hour the pressure the now the main line begins from here the pressures of the air in the cylinder at the beginning of the injection and at the end of the injection is 30 bar and 60 bar that means it is a cylinder pressure because in diesel engine only air is coming into the cylinder and from the fuel nozzle the fuel injection pressure is given at the beginning and at the end of compression is 220 and 550 bar okay so what to happen and here it is written over that the 15 degree crank angle the whole injection takes place so suppose this is a TDC and over here it is a BDC so this during the 15 degree angle this is the beginning of the fuel injection and this is the end of the fuel injection so at the beginning the cylinder pressure is uh, 30 bar and the injection pressure is 220 bar and at the end of the uh, injection the cylinder pressure is 60 bar and injection pressure is 550 bar okay assume the coefficient of discharge the cd or you can here we can take as a cv also 0.65 and specific gravity of the fuel s is given as 0.85 or we can say that 850 kg per meter cube density it is rho rho value is given over here the end the atmospheric pressure is 1.013 bar assume uh, the effective pressure difference this is also a very very important line because if you don't know the meaning of this line then your question cannot be start so this is the starting line assume the effective pressure difference to be the average pressure difference over the injection period okay so what it means i will tell you and uh, find out the nozzle area required the nozzle area we have to find out if the injection takes place over 15 degree and number of nozzles are 4 that means z is equal to 4 okay so let us see so we know the one basic relation that is volume of the fuel volume of the fuel v is equal to number of nozzles number of nozzles or we can say that z multiply by area that we have to find a into fuel velocity fuel velocity vf multiply by injection time that is t so say it is a say it as a equation number one okay we will put the we have first of all what we have to find volume number of nozzle is given we have to find fuel velocity and time is given injection time but it, it is in degree 15 degree but we have to convert in second okay so that is the thing so first of, first of all let us start with finding out the fuel velocity okay then we will find the volume okay so first of all fuel velocity how we can find out we know this is the uh, shape of the nozzle then general shape so what is the fuel velocity at, at exit at point number two the velocity at the exit of nozzle is two and this is the point number one just before the exiting okay so we can apply the Bernoulli equation between these two one and two and so we, we have p1 by rho g and here atmospheric pressure is given 1.01 bar but we can uh, we have to write the assumption that taking assuming atmospheric pressure as a zero or zero gauge okay we are not writing in absolute term p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z1 is equal to p1 
p2 टू बाय रो जी प्लस वी टू स्क्वायर बाय टू जी प्लस जेड टू एंड द एलिवेशन डिफरेंस बिटवीन वन एंड टू इज वेरी स्मॉल सो आई कैन वी कैन नेग्लेक्ट हियर जी जी टर्म विल ऑल्सो गेट कैंसल आउट एंड द एट एट टू द एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर इज पी टू बट वी आर सॉरी जीरो गेज सॉरी सॉरी इट्स माई मिस्टेक हियर वी कैन नॉट राइट द assumption of uh, zero gauge okay we have to consider that thing but we can consider the initial velocity that is at point 1 just beginning of the injection can be treated as a zero because when you saw, see the actual data and in some books that it is written that the before the uh, exiting of the nozzle the velocity is quite uh, uh, very very low so we can neglect it so we can find out v2 is equal to under root 2 times p1 minus p2 divided by Rho. Now, what is this P1 minus P2? So here the main line, the effective pressure difference between the average pressure difference over the injection period. So what is the average pressure difference over the injection period? So this is the effective pressure difference P P1 minus T P2. So this is effective pressure difference. So what is the injection pressure minus cylinder pressure at the beginning plus Injection pressure minus cylinder pressure at the end of the injection divided by divided by two. So this is the thing that is written, the average pressure difference over the injection period. So over the injection period, that means before injection there is some pressure and after injection there is some change in pressure. So what is the PI and PC value? We have. So we have here injection pressure that is two twenty minus PC. PC is what? That is at thirty bar. Plus that is 550 minus 60 divided by 2. So when you solve this, you will get the effective pressure P1 minus P2 is 340 bar, or you can say that 340 into 10 to the power 5 pascal. Okay. Now we can find out the velocity V2. V2 is what under root 2 times 340 into 10 to the power 5. Divided by rho. Rho is what density? It is 850. In data, it is 0.85 specific gravity given. So when you solve this, you will get 282.84 meter per second. But the actual velocity of the fuel is somewhat less because of the there is some losses in nozzle. So Vf velocity of fuel that is Cd into V2. Here CV value is not given, so we will we will take CD as a Uh, CV so CD point sixty five into two eighty two point eighty four so that will be our uh, actual velocity of fuel is one eighty three point eighty four meter per second so this is one parameter that we have found out till now so let us uh, box it now we have to find the volume so volume how to find out let us see so for volume we know the brake power per cylinder. How much brake power per cylinder? That is 250 kilowatt. That is a total brake power is given, and number of cylinder is six. So 250 divided by six. That is uh, 41.67 kilowatt. Now we know that the brake specific fuel consumption, brake specific fuel consumption is mass of the fuel and brake power. So from here, mass mass flow rate of the fuel. We can find out as a point uh, three multiplied by forty one point sixty seven. So it is a twelve point five kg per hour per cylinder. But in second, when you solve that, that means that means divide by three six double zero. So zero point double zero three forty seven kg per second. Now we don't uh, have to answer right in second, but we have to find. In one cycle, how much uh, mass flow is there? So in one in one second. So for that, in one second, how many cycles were there? So that is the per cycle. That is zero point zero zero three forty seven. That is a in one second. But in one second, there is not only one cycle. In one minute, there is a fifteen hundred rpm. So in one second, fifteen hundred by sixty, there is rpm. But how many number of cycles? So that is fifteen hundred. By two and by sixty. Denominator of the denominator is numerator. So when you solve this, 
so this is this much number of cycles that I have written n by 2 in the initial beginning of the question that you can remember so this is the mass flow rate per cycle so 0 0.000 sorry 0 0.000 27 kg per cycle in one cycle now what is the volume v that is mass flow rate divided by density rho so when you divide by 850 you will get 3.26 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter cube per cycle so this is our second parameter that we have found out now we have only one parameter left that injection time that we require so injection time so we know that in 360 degree there is one revolution okay okay so in 15 degree how much revolution 15 by 360 now in one second in one second how much cycle is how much uh, revolution is completed 1500 by 60 in one second in one minute or you can say that in 60 second one uh, 1500 revolutions were there but it is a four stroke engine so how many number of cycles in one second so 750 cycles number of cycles per second and for that that is a 360 degree revolution so for 50 by 360 degree revolution how much time that is t that is required so cross multiply and you will find out 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 seconds so this much very very less time so in this much time from nozzle fuel is injected 1.6 10 to the power minus 3 that means 1.67 millisecond i hope you clear uh, here that is revolution 15 by 360 degree that is the that is the crank revolution that period the fuel will be injected but for uh, rotating 15 degree how much uh, time is required so and we have calculated our the data all the values in volume in per cycle so we have to calculate per cycle if you have if, if you have find out in meter cube per second then it will be 1500 only but here we have to we have find out the per cycle so 1500 by 2 as it is a four stroke engine so in one in one second sorry in one minute so in 60 second this much of cycles is there so this much revolution for that is how much time is required so 1.6 10 to the power minus 3 so this is our third parameter that we have also find out now put all this value in equation number one this is our equation number we have volume we have number of nozzles we have fuel velocity we have injection time so put this value over here so you will get so volume is 3.26 into 10 to the power minus 7 is equal to number of nozzles are 4 area that we have to find out and 183.84 meter per second velocity and 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 second so when you calculate this you will get as a 2.65 into 10 to the power minus 7 meter square area so in more uh, effective manner we can write 0.265 mm square area is required so this is the answer so as and uh, we all know that the area of the nozzle in fuel injector diesel engine i hope many of you have seen that uh, very that is very very small area because of the fine fine droplet and atomize, atomization that we know the theory of ic engine so to do that this much very very small area is required so please don't confuse when your answer coming like this 0.265 mm square so this is the correct answer and i hope you like this solution so please give a one like for this solution because this require very much time for solution as well as explanation and share this video with your friends also though so that they will also get benefit and this is not only for important from civil service point of view from engineering service those working mains and indian forest service mains also it is helpful and state engineering service in their mains that is also important so this is the thing of today's video i hope you like this solution if you have any doubt at any point just 
ask in the comment section i will explain you in the next video okay so thank you for watching this